Hey guys, Tonic here. Another Tuesday, another Atomic Shop review. This week in the Atomic Shop, they just released the Santa Slay Power Armor Bundle, as well as a ton of older holiday items. And on top of that, we also got a free Collectron Station, and Fallout First members got a free Holiday themed tent. And on top of all of that, the Season 3 scoreboard just released, so a pretty big Tuesday for Fallout 76. I just picked up the bundle, let's check it out. So here is the paint applied on a few different types of power armor. As you can see, it does change with every single type of power armor, which is absolutely awesome. I love when they take the time to make individual skins for each type of armor, instead of just making one universal one that changes your excavator armor into a T60 looking type thing or anything like that. But overall, I think the detail on this is phenomenal, and I specifically love this excavator one. I really like all the hints of gold in there. I think it looks phenomenal. And here's a quick look at the backs. And it will also work with every type of power armor. These are just the ones I had in my inventory. Also included with this bundle is going to be the Majestic Santa Throne. It's going to cost 5 cloth, 2 steel, and 3 wood to place. And it looks really good, actually. Again, I really like all the hints of gold. And sitting down on it, I wonder if there's a special animation or anything. Not really, it actually looks pretty big compared to your character, but overall it's a pretty solid chair. Also in this bundle is going to be a pretty neat stocking set, so there is a new Coca-Cola one, a Slocum's Joe one, as well as a Vault-Tec one. There are just three of them, and I mean, they're nice little filler pieces, they actually look pretty cool. I really like the new Coca-Cola one. They're alright, I'd say, they're pretty cool. And also included with this bundle is going to be this color wall lamp, so placing it down here it looks like it emits a color and then when it gets that's kind of interesting actually so it will correspond with the color that is spinning over the light that's pretty cool it moves pretty slowly it doesn't seem to be too bright either let's check out the distance on the light so the distance isn't very far either as you can see it's not really on that wall so i mean it's all right it would be kind of nice in a vending area or something like that and so, as always, in this part of the video, I like to show off what's in the shop for those at work and cannot really get on right now to see all the pages. So on the first page, we have the holiday kickoff, which seems to imply that there is going to be another round of holiday stuff next week, so let's hope for that. And then going on the first page, we got the secret, or sorry, Santa's sleigh paint, Santa's throne, the stocking set, the wheel and all that. A pretty solid vault tech fridge, that's kind of cool and new. The aluminum trees, they are back on sale right now. And a gift gift emote. Over in shelters, we just have the same thing as the last week. And again, more shelter stuff. Camp favorites, the contemporary stuff is back. So if you don't have that, I highly recommend it. It is a phenomenal set. These two together are awesome. And then going over to special, there is a free Santa Collectron this year. Or it actually came back. It was already here. So that you can grab right now for a limited time. And also, Fallout First members got this pretty nice holiday survival tent. And for all you Fallout First members, right here is the brand new survival tent, and it looks super, super sick. It definitely looks better than the Raiders and Settlers one, in my opinion, and it kind of makes me think why we didn't get a Brotherhood of Steel one when Steel Dawn dropped, but nonetheless, it's still pretty cool. The only issue I found was this light string right here. So as you can see, it's not touching anything up there. There's a big gap between the roof and this white light, and it just goes down and clips into the ground. So I don't think this is supposed to be here if anything i would assume it's supposed to drape down but there is a pretty sizable gap there so it's kind of defying gravity right now pretty cool and then going on the inside we got a nice sleeping bag a beautiful tree very well decorated scrap box is normal stash box i wish that we got a nice christmas stash box but still this is already cool enough and a super super cool lamp which i really hope that they release in the future for the atomic shop because that looks really cool as far as this bundle goes, I really like it. I really like the power armor, and I love the camp items. And I'm not sure if going with a power armor bundle for the name was the right choice, as it's not necessarily just a power armor bundle. It's kind of a mix of power armor and camp items, which is super cool to see. I'm very happy that they added that kind of stuff. Holiday tent, super sick. Collectron for free, awesome. And on top of that, the Season 3 scoreboard, which I did do a video on, so if you want to see all the items in that, I'll put that up top there, but... Still, this was a great bundle. I actually really like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And a huge thank you to the channel members, Theodore, Captain Awesome, Digital Aardvark, Lone Survivor OG, KN, DFN Gaming, Christy Mel, and Schwitz. You guys are amazing. I love you all. Happy holidays, and have a great week, everybody.